Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Khush amdi. Ji aya nu. Khuyu morik. Khair ragle. Ni hao. Juna shumme. Washmale. Oh hai. Good zaymes. Guten morgen. Ola. Bonjour. Priviyat. Kaifa hal. Hale shuma chatore. Ahlan wa salan. Marhaba. And a very amazing good morning to everybody who is tuned into PTB World and are watching World this morning. Long said the very fabulous, the very amazing Shiza Hashmi and Shahzad Khan. Hello, Shiza. How are you today? I am good. How are you? I'm absolutely <laughs> perfect, and I'm very happy because of the fact that the type of show we are going to do today. And ladies and gentlemen, we had several problems in yeah. managing this program too, as well, because of the fact that we do this show from a virtual uh, studio. And what happens is that you know we've got a Chrome over here. I don't know whether many people can understand it or not, but let me just explain yeah. you. So what you're watching on screen is at the back of uh, you know our sofa is actually a window and you know there's a plant over there too as well but in actual it's just a green, green screen. screen yes. So what happens is that if you wear green clothes or if you put trees right in front of the green screen you know we are unable to show you but that's that's something different but this is to give away that today we'll be talking about plantation. About trees and plants. Yes, yes and it's very true. important too as well but before we do that We've got top stories coming up. Let's take a look Let's what's happening in Pakistan. Good morning. The sector religious caricature competition being held in the Netherlands. Blasphemous cartoon competition is against the soul of freedom of expression, which hurts the sentiments of billions of Muslims across the globe. Indeed it is. And last but not the least, where Prime Minister Imran Khan assures to revamp country's economy on strong footings by setting example, says conducive environment to be created for overseas Pakistanis to invest in their own homeland. I think that was needed for a long time. All right, these were no. the top stories and now coming down to what we're going to be discussing today, ladies and gentlemen. So, Shiza, do you want to talk about it? Yes, I, I actually have quite some things that I need to discuss. So, sure, first of all, I need to tell you, I'm pretty sure you know and tell you all of you as well, that on the 2nd of September, all of us across the you know whole country, we are going to mark it as a green day. And uh, collectively, the government is going to plant... Uh, more than 1.5 million saplings across the country. Exactly. How great is that? And 10,000, more than 10,000 in Islamabad alone. This is amazing. And as we, you know, as we just talked about how we're going to, um, this show is going to be about planting trees and everything. I have a very small story. It, it has an emotional connection to a tree okay, as well. Go ahead, go ahead. But I think, um, did you ever watch Pocahontas when you were little? Yes, I did, obviously. Okay, so uh, there was they a tree. had many choices when we were kids. <laughs> That's, <true laughs> That's what it was. So uh, there was a tree that Pocahontas used to, used to talk to and she said that she felt like it was a grandma. So, um, point being, there is always an, an emotional connection between you and if you plant a tree between that as well. It's like a kid because you're bringing it up, you're giving them water, food and everything. Exactly. So, uh, you know, years back when my daddy was in my village as well, so uh, when we used to go there, there was a clearing, there was a small patch and she cultivated it with a lot of trees and everything. All right. So, um, Later on, you know, she used to plant them and everything. Later on, when we grew, when my dad grew, a lot of cars were standing there. And, you know, a lot of uh, people were coming there and everything. So plants were not there anymore. Okay. So obviously she was sad. But later on, my dad felt like this is one of the things that he needs to do again. Uh, because he sort of felt a connection with them. He grew up with them, right? He was growing as old as the trees were growing. Yeah. So what he did was he cleared the patch again and he planted some more saplings and trees again. And now they're growing and he's so happy about it. And I think... I'm pretty sure you feel the same way if you do have plants at your home. I'm sure you do. Exactly. You do have a connection with them because they're living creatures as well. And they are so, so, so beneficial for you. And that is what we're going to talk about, the benefits. Exactly. We'll definitely be talking about that, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, there's one more thing which I need to reiterate. And that is that, you know, uh, in 2014, the KPK government actually decided to bring along a billion tree tsunami. Yeah. And it started in 2014 and they finished this campaign. Uh, way before you know when it was actually decided yeah. to be ending but other than that you know ladies and gentlemen there are a few f facts and figures yeah. which i would love to share with you guys for example japan hmm. has actually got 63 percent of its area uh, which is which is forest other wow. than japan you know moving on to sweden 53 percent of its entire wow. area is actually forest too as well india has got 22 percent and Pakistan is at 5%, which I think is very low as well. Yeah, and because you're suppo a country is supposed to have at least 25% of the area as a forest. Or exactly. And then at the same time, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, the Germans actually started celebrating this greenery weeks or pro probably plantation drives as well for since 1952. 
In Israel, the 19th day of January is actually celebrated as a plantation day as well. In Japan, National Tree F uh, Festival is celebrated in the first week of April. In Sweden and even in India, you know, there are days. So I think we really need to come up with such activities. And I'm happy that, you know, in September that this drive is going to be on as well. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you know, the, uh, the new government which took over, which is in power as well, you know, it's, in on, it's on its top priority yeah. list as well to make Pakistan a greener place yes. as well sure. in terms to add on to the climate change as well okay. because we know that uh, climate is actually mm. going to the climate change is actually going to have an effect and an impact on us as well it has already started so though. it's yeah. uh, better that we actually do something than to be sorry and this is what we are doing today so today we have been actually joined by people from different well, walks we, of life i'm, yeah, I'm sorry ahead, i have to cut ahead. you off but before we introduce our guest there's one thing i have to sure. share with you on facebook the other day i came across a thing it was so interesting i'm pretty sure it's for non-muslims because it's a sort of type of a burial so um, there's a life Yeah, I saw that. Oh, you yeah, did? Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. So there I wouldn't love be any the coffins idea. anymore. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is basically a life side burial pod. It is bigger than me, to be honest. And there are saplings and seeds inside it. So yeah. what you do, you place the dead body in a fetal position inside the pod. And uh, it is biodegradable. And you place it, you know, in the place where the coffin was going to be. Yeah. And the person, you know, uh, the remains of the dead person yeah. develop into a tree. How amazing is that? It is, it is amazing. And even other than that, you know, the, there was this one more campaign which actually came across from a guy who's actually within the fitness industry yeah. over here in Pakistan. And I think I would love to take the name as well. You know, he's running his brand with the name of Jack Nutrition. Okay. So what happened was that he shared this picture and, you know, he felt that, you know, his brand needs to come up with some social responsibilities right. as well. So what he did was that all of those protein shakes uh, boxes, yeah. you know, when, when they, they finished the protein shake, what they did was that they pl started planting trees in those boxes wow. too as well. But the, this is what we're going to talk yeah. about. How do we actually plant a tree? What kind of trees do we need to plant? And how can the, you be socially yeah, responsible? Yeah, the role of the government too as well. How do you interact with CD over here in Islamabad? And, you know, do, do they even allow us to plant tree yeah. anywhere yeah. we want? These are the things which we'll be discussing. And how many trees have they planted already? And how do you think it's going to have an impact on our weather, on our, uh, you know, uh, on our uh, environment? That's, yeah. that's what we'll be talking about. So on my right-hand side... We've been joined by Ms. Sabine Naz, who's a social entrepreneur from Pakistan Progressive Organization as well. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wa alaikum as -salam. As -salam. Thank you very much for joining us. Alongside Ms. Sabine Naz, we have been joined by Maria Javed, who's a social activist too as well, and she's a part of Pakistan Progressive Organization. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. How are you? Wa alaikum as -salam. I'm fine. Thank you very much for joining us. Alongside Ms. Maria Javed, we have been joined by Mr. Hassan Abdullah, who's a uh, uh, member of PPO2 as well. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Hello, good morning. How are you? Fine. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you very much. And alongside Mr. Hassan Abdullah, last but not the least, we have been joined by Mr. Zorain Zahid. Yeah. Hello, assalamu alaikum. How are you? Thank you very much for joining us. But let's get the conversation started. I think the right person to get the conversation started would be Ms. Sabina yes. over here. So, Ms. Sabine, tell us about yourself. Tell us about PPO and what are you guys doing to make Pakistan more greener and a better place to live? Uh, we are working. We have just started our NGO three months ago. Okay. And, mashallah, we have achieved our target of uh, uh, more than 3,000 uh, plantation uh, plants we have uh, planted so far. Okay. So if, uh, I believe that uh, we are very focused and we are determined to okay. ma make Pakistan more green and green. Okay, that's beautiful. But how did the idea come to you? I mean, you, you do live in a society and you want to contrib contribute individually to a society as well. But this particular idea, how? Actually, um, to be very honest, I was very impressed with the um, uh, Friends of Kashnar Park. Okay. Um, it's a park uh, in Ayat hmm. where... Um, the presidents of IIT yes. has taken the um, ownership of that mm -hmm. uh, park okay. and they are as a community mm. uh, working together to uh, take care of that park. Okay, they, they started planting the trees mm. over there uh, at their own and then they, they were taking care of these uh, plants uh, individually mm. or collectively. Right. Uh, so it was the it was very impressive for me okay. and um, <laughs> From there, I, I thought that we should start this uh, campaign mm -hmm. or this idea uh, to, throughout, to spread throughout Pakistan. Right, right. If um, um, residents of Ayat can do this, 
as mm -hmm. a community, yeah. they can take care of the, their park. Yes. In pa Islamabad, every sector has one yeah. uh, park. Uh, mm -hmm. A community in, in their, park. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. CDA, planned, uh, CDA has planned a one park in every sector. Okay. So why not uh, other sectors mm. can take this uh, uh, ownership? Right. Yes, right. Why, why not? And um, this is the idea that we all always condemned our uh, government that they are not doing anything. Mm. But uh, if we generate, if we are able to create this that awareness in uh, among the citizens of uh, Pakistan yeah. that we can take the ownership of certain things right. at their at our own, then we can develop Pakistan hmm. uh, in small portions, right. uh, exactly. and uh, we can collectively uh, build Pakistan slowly and gradually, like gradually. And, and baby and steps towards everything. And, 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 and that's what we want to do too as well. But let's move on to Maria. So Maria. How did you become a part of PPO, which is Pakistan Progressive Organization? Right. So I've always been driven towards searching for any volunteer opportunities that I could see. So uh, I saw that PPO had a good outreach on social media networks and all. That's how I found out about them. And I was really motivated to join into an effort that's actually combining a set of uh, steps taken for education as well as environment. Mm -hmm. I thought it would help me to become a proactive member of my society. Right, right. So that's why I... And, and then who did you contact it in the first place? The first person I contacted yeah. is sitting right next to me. It's not to be. And then what did she say to you? <laughs> she really encouraged me. And this is an attitude which I really like about PPO is that they really welcome each member that joins them mm. and they created an environment in which everybody is bonding and they're driven together to words there okay that that's great okay. i mean i think to be more precise we can call it synergy too as well but yeah. other than that mm -hmm. okay so what, what are your core what is your core job orientation or or, or a volunteer orientation within the uh, i don't know limitations of ppo i right. think that's what it is so uh, other than being an on field volunteer i'm also their media head Right. So I uh, overlook the social media activity as well as a lot of content writing okay. and there's an entire team that uh, actually works on our outreach as well as our publicity. So it's a mixture mm. of public relations and also the media coverage. So what sort of feedback mm. are you getting on social media? It's actually really nice. We've mm. seen that people are so enthusiastic about it. <laughs> they just need a platform on which they can come together mm. and start expressing all of their ideas. Mm. And there's so many new ideas that people from our community bring in okay. about how we can work for the environment. It's really impressive. Really? Okay. Nice. Yeah, and at the same time, there's one more thing which I would love to appreciate, ladies and gentlemen. One female clothes brand actually came up with yes. a very superb idea. What they did was that, you know, they made bags which were biodegradable yeah. mm -hmm. and within the bag there was this seed too as well. So if you're going to go shop from them, you know, you're going to give the, uh, get that bag for free too as well and then you can plant a tree by yourself. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm going to ask Hassan now. So Hassan, what kind of trees should we be planting as members of the society? Where, or, and can we plant anywhere we want or do we really have to designate an area that, okay, you know, we're going to plant over here? Definitely, there are some specific plants as different areas. Northern areas can grow different plants, and the Sindh and yeah, Balochistan. Yeah, the provincially we we can plant different trees on different areas, because all plants can't grow at every place. Yeah. Mm, right. Like if we talk about northern areas, as we plant as we do plantation more mostly in northern areas. Mm, okay. So we can plant mostly fruit trees like citrus fruits mm. okay like citrus fruit we can plant orange lemon yeah. like these plants we can plant and if in no, non fruits plants we can plant then we should plant like uh, sukchen okay mm. yokranda and like Sita. this plant so, 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 okay. right. so, so are all of these plants <laughs> uh, helpful for the climate to change for better definitely the, these plants can bring the birds back Okay. And the ecosystem, they can bring ecosystem. Mm. The main thing, the, our main project is to bring back our, uh, our birds lost ecosystem. and ecosystem. Yeah. Our yeah, we yeah, have to bring, right. and they create more more oxygen than others. Hmm. That's why we have some specific plants to create more oxygen. Okay, let's be more particular. Let's talk sure. about Islamabad. What sort of plants should we be planting in Islamabad? What are we in need of? The mostly is Amaltas and Kachanar. Okay, what do okay. they do? <laughs> yes, because they, they mostly grow very fast hmm. and they need m less care. Okay. 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 So if, if we plant on green beds with roads, definitely we, uh, it's too difficult to water them on daily basis. Hmm. So they can 
uh, grow with <coughs> rain water. Okay. So okay, we have to come back to that, you know, when we talk about aftercare and everything. Yeah. But okay. moving on, uh, okay. what part do you play in, uh, you know, this PPO? First of all, thank you so much for uh, calling us here. It's I, our pleasure, absolutely. Uh, I'm working in Pakistan Progressive yeah. Organization as a finance secretary. Okay. My okay. duty is uh, I look, uh, generate funds and uh, ma uh, manage them in a very fruitful way that will help our environment. Okay. Uh, for example, we run a, a cleaning campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, beside that, we run a plantation campaign also. Right. In, as they told in Kachnar Park and different places. Mm. Our team is working in different country, uh, cities of Pakistan, like in Bahawalpur, okay. Chakwal, and this area. Hmm. So uh, my uh, my duties are that I have to generate some funds okay. so that we can buy some plants, or uh, if someone do not donates hmm. uh, pl hmm. uh, plants, like for example, uh, Pakistan Tobacco, hmm. they really cooperate with us wow. and they okay. donate uh, plants. Okay, I think you're right. the right person to ask this. When you say generate funds, are there donors? I'm not talking in terms of plants like you just mentioned, in terms of you know money as well. Yeah. Are there people who are willing to donate to you guys that you know there's my part, go buy plants or whatever? Okay. Yes, uh, we mostly contribute by ourselves that uh, uh, members Yourselves? of Pro uh, Pakistan Progressive. Okay. Okay. But, um, but other, th other than that, uh, other people, that is uh, citizens of as we were planting uh, plants in Kashnar Park. So most of the uh, regular guys in, in the park they came and they helped us. Right. So uh, it's a uh, very positive attitude of our pe uh, Pakistani people yes, that they course. help each other. Hmm. True, true, true. Exactly, that's true too as well. But ladies and gentlemen, with that, what we're going to do is that we are actually going to go head out for towards a short break. And when we guys are going to come back, what we're going to do is that we're actually going to ask them how CD is helping yeah. them, how the government sector is helping them, mm -hmm. you know, plans for the 2nd of September too as well. But other than that, I've got an individual who's individually planting trees going all over Islamabad as on well. Own, we're yes. going to take him on call. We're going to ask him whether what is actually driving him to go plant trees and why is he doing so? Well, but he's setting an example definitely too as well. So with that, we're going for a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Good morning. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to World This Morning. We're talking about trees, plants, and everything green, which is going, going to make Pakistan a very better and beautiful place to live. <laughs> Indeed, that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. But with us right now, we have been joined by that one amazing individual who was uh, once a senior at my university. He's a great musician. You know, he's a trekker. And, you know, he's one of those people who actually gives you energy. He, t he talks about life as well. You know, he shares his ambitions hmm. of how he wants Pakistan to be more greener and a better place yes. to live at. And he's doing it all on his own. You know, there are his friends who are actually supporting him. He's going around different places on Saturdays and Sundays. Wow. Amazing. Which is that, you know, even on weekends, he's not resting. He's not wow. laying back. He's, he just wants Pakistan to be greener and to be more beautiful. He's none other than Mr. Tabish Mahmood. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. How are you? Assalamu Alaikum, Shazad. Assalamu Alaikum, Faisal. How are you? Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for taking our time. So my first question will be, Tabish Bhai, why do you think that you actually had to actually, you know, not rest on weekends, mm. come out, you know, plant trees? What, what came across your mind that, you know, okay, this is something which I would love to do? Actually, it's, uh, it's pretty. I'm, I'm seeing some pictures. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's actually pretty interesting. Um, there, there are several reasons, but one of the major reasons, and it's and it's, uh, it's it would be completely different from anyone's story because I I just recently shifted to Berry and Cave in Islamabad, and every single night I just bought a bike, so I would just pass by different nurseries on Park Road. And whenever I would, because once you're sitting in the car, you don't notice it. But when you're on the bike, you notice there's a lot of temperature difference when you go around these places. So at least a temperature difference of maybe two, three degrees. And I was surprised. That, I mean, wherever I would go, I would notice this temperature difference. Even when we went to uh, a store this time, we passed through Jaglot. And Jaglot is a place which is extremely dry. But then there was an area where there was a lot of plantation. So the temperature difference was unreal. That was one of the major reasons how I started thinking about this because this goes on into your subconscious. Uh, except for that, I saw a number of videos. So social media, you know, these days is is the tool that that can inspire you. Uh, I mean, big time. So I saw some videos from Nigeria. There were some uh, seed ball videos. So they made some seed balls for plantation. That one, then uh, the video from India, um, in in which they planted a lot of trees. So all of those things uh, came across and it, it kept going into my subconscious. So um, that, those were some of the reasons why I went ahead and uh, did this plantation drive. Um, another, another important reason is that I used to talk to a lot of friends of mine and they would tell me that uh, we're arranging some plantation drive. So on their Facebook, uh, the counts would be like 10,000 people going and then five people turning up to the thing. So um, the, the thing that came up in my mind is that this social media, it, it kind of uh, gives you sort of a, everything has to be more like a fashion statement. So I told them, I said, <laughs> even if you have to plant trees, uh, you have to make this fashion statement and you have to make it something to be very proud of if you put it up on social media. So we is, but Tabi, what, what I wanted to ask over here was that why is it necessary that if you plant a tree that you put a picture on Facebook too as well? Is it really necessary that we tell people? And I still remember that while I was in UK, I called you that you know I still want to be a part of this drive, yeah. but I think that I'm paying back today only <laughs> because I never showed up too as well. So I'm one of those people. But other than that, thank you very much for motivating everybody. But what plans do you have in future? And you can definitely thank all of your friends who've actually been donating you seed balls. I think one of your friends was Tivana, who actually gave you 100 or 200 seed balls too wow. as well. Yeah, so Ali Tivana from Sargoda, he gave me a number of seed balls. So uh, a, a number of people are supporting us. There are volunteers. There is uh, Zeba Aunty who works with the Muhammad Ali Said Foundation. Muhammad Ali Said Foundation is doing an unbelievably amazing work. Uh, if you check out their page on Facebook, they've planted like, maybe they, 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 they plan on planting like a million fruit trees, but they've already planted like 25,000 uh, fruit trees. Um, a, a lot of other people, individuals, they call me up, they're planning to do uh, this. I think what we were trying to get at, we were trying to get at um, a point where people think it's ex extremely, extremely important to uh, go ahead and plant trees individually. So my, my basic uh, message to all the people watching is don't wait for companies to approach you or don't wait for people to make events and uh, uh, go for plantation rights. Individually, you plant one tree, it's like you planted a natural air conditioner into the environment. So Okay, but there's one, one more thing, and that is that, you know, I've seen a lot of pictures and videos of you too as well, where you're actually planting trees, and then there are people stopping by too as well to witness that. 
So what what are the most common questions people ask you when you're actually hmm. in the drive to as well where you're actually planting? Yeah, that's that's a, that's. I think that's a, that's an extremely important question. Um, a lot of people, the the most common question is which trees to buy and where to buy them. So uh, I always keep telling them within Islamabad you have Pakistan Tobacco Company Nursery, which is close to Esplanade Park, uh, in front of uh, Mustafa Towers. Uh, these guys, if you take your original ID card, they can give you 10 to 15 uh, trees, and they will give you the right trees for Islamabad. So uh, they, they, they usually ask what kind of trees, so I'll just name a few, the Rek, Pakan, um, Amrud, which is Guava, Jamun, uh, we, we've talked about uh, Sukshen, we've talked about Amultas. So all these trees are actually really good. So uh, to, to answer your question, uh, which trees to plant and where to buy them. So where to buy them, you can get them free or you can uh, go and buy them for 100 or 200 rupees from H9 Nurseries in Islamabad. And uh, just one one important suggestion: whenever you plant a tree, don't go for a very uh, short uh, tree. So you, your tree should uh, your plant should be around three to four feet at least for it to survive out in the wild. And three different kinds of trees very very important: shady, ornamental, or fruit. So uh, we 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 try and plant these sort of trees. Okay, Tavish, why why is it important to have a plant which is actually three four feet long? Um, so what we've been doing, we've been going around, we've been planting on um, uh, these, um, you know, the footpaths and uh, these um, green belts. So what used to happen is when we when we used to plant a very uh, small tree, either um, an animal would end up eating it, or uh, there is, you know, there's storms and there's different other things. So the stem of the tree needs to be, uh, it, it needs to support the tree weight and all that. So for it to survive out in the wild, especially the rains and all, you you must uh, plant a bigger tree. Thank you very much, Tavish Bhai, for taking our time for us and keep on inspiring other people too as well. Thank you very much for being a part. Stay blessed. Yes, this and was Tavish Mahmood, you know, a responsible citizen of Pakistan. One of you guys who actually, you know, didn't sit back and think, you know, I'm not sure where to start from. I do want to contribute to Pakistan, but not sure. But he actually stood up and did something. We're very proud of him, yes. And in this segment, we have actually been um, uh, joined by Shazib Shafi. Yes. yes. He has been replaced by one of his other teammates as well. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome on the show. Thank you so much for being here. Well, walaikum assalam. Uh, welcome. And so what capacity do you play your role in this PPO? Uh, actually, I am Secretary General of Pakistan Progressive Organization. Okay. So, uh, actually, I engage people and I write uh, bl blogs for the Pakistan Progressive Organization. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, uh, I am uh, engaging uh, different com different people of the community mm -hmm. uh, to uh, play their role in the society, to pl play their role in the community, right. uh, to uh, wor to work for plantation and. Uh, why it is uh, important? Uh, I actually motivate people hmm. through my writings, through my speeches, and uh, all uh, these. And kind we'll of definitely stuff. come down to that point as well, where I'm going to give you a minute, and you have to motivate all Pakistanis yeah. to plan a tree too okay. as well. But let me just move on to Maria. So Maria, are you, if I'm not wrong, are holding a seed ball. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Right now. So tell us how to plant the seed ball and where do we get the seed ball from, and what kind of sapling is in there within that seed ball? All right. So uh, the best thing about seed balls is that anybody can do it and it's something that is super easy so what you basically need for us uh, for this is yeah. soil can you just show it to the hold camera it, yeah, yeah camera, just yes. just hold it yeah this is the seed ball Perfect. right so the simple ingredients you need to make the seed ball is basically soil compost water that's all you need as well as the seed right and for the seeds it's really the easiest thing ever because you can just take the seed of any sort of fruit that you're eating, whether it's peach or apple or any sort of fruit, right? Mm -hmm. And this is something that's easily doable at home. Yeah. So what you need to do basically is that first you need to get any container in which you need to mix soil, compost, and a little bit of water. For example, if you have four portions of soil, you need four or two portions of compost within one portion of water, right? And what you need to do is firstly knead it into a smooth mixture. Hmm. And then simply what you need to do is to get yeah. some of the mixture, place it on your hand and flatten it into a sort of disc. Yeah. And then we need to place upon a seat in the center. And all we need to do is that just 
you know, sandwich hold it, it like oh. this, yeah, mm. and sandwich it and apply a little pressure. And after uh, having this circular shape, we just need to uh, dry it for two days. Oh. And then finally, we can just throw it everywhere that we want. We, we just throw it. We do not even have yeah, to. We, we just have to like, you know, it, it's not even, uh, we, we don't need to grab a shovel and, you know, go, right. going through that entire hassle. That's why I would really like to promote this idea. J just whenever you're enjoying a fruit, get go to your backyard grab some soil it's good if you have some compost even if you do not have compost it's not available you can still create this seed wow. ball and the best thing about it is that this soil and compost layer on top it actually has a function and that is to prevent any herbivores and birds from eating the seed so it, it's not only a nutrient rich mixture that's going to encourage the seed to germinate well but it's also going to protect it from like getting dormant or being yeah. eaten by any uh well that's great animals. and uh, ladies and gentlemen the best part is that you can make these seed balls at home at too home. as well Anytime so I, I love it mm -hmm. so for example if you were having peaches if you were having apples you know what you need to do is to just take the saplings away put them inside you know take a bit of soil compost a bit of water and it's just like you know for for all those uh, women who can actually cook you know chapatis i think it's <laughs> it's more easier for them to make these seed balls but it is an easy solution for yeah. and you just get to throw it away anywhere and it'll grow on its own. You know, but that's mm -hmm. my question. When you say throw it anywhere, I have to ask you, Mr. Bean, mm -hmm. can we actually grow plants anywhere we want? Because or do we have to like, you know, work hand in hand with... Depends if you're throwing at these seed yes, balls at somebody's both, face. Both, you know, say, both uh, are um, two different questions, okay. but both are uh, simultaneously important. Yeah. Um, mashallah, we are blessed that we, are, we have four seasons in Pakistan. Yeah. It's yeah. a tropical region. So uh, seed balls are useful mm -hmm. in that in that uh, um, in this regard okay. as uh, mo this is the monsoon season and it is the high time for plantation um, and uh, that's why if we throw these seed balls anywhere mm -hmm. automatically monsoon will support that right. um, seed ball to generate the seed uh, sapling uh, uh, at its own mm -hmm. without even taking care All right. and second uh, yes we need uh, uh, involvement of government, mm -hmm. involvement of CDA, because it's a technical job. Right. Uh, yes, it is uh, very easy that, yes, everybody is doing plantation uh, drive just to achieve certain numbers, mm. but I believe that it's not just a number game. If plantation was so easy, then there must not be the forestation department. Mm. Yeah. Right, right. It's, it is there because plantation is a technical job. So we need CDA personnel and government involvement so that they can um, provide us the exact collective data of Pakistan uh, where we can uh, plant which seed okay. and uh, what will be the requirement. So they can allocate us or they can guide us because right. m probably we don't have that info information accordingly, geographically uh, mm. of the soil and the atmosphere because we have four seasons and um, uh, five provinces with yes. different um, soil. Hmm. Okay. Uh, every soil is different from every province. Okay. Exactly. So okay. we have to take care um, mm. that whatever plantation we are doing in a particular region, in a right. particular province, it should be according to its environment. Exactly. Okay. And uh, we have to, it is necessary to involve CDA because hmm. we cannot uh, uh, take care of a sapling hmm. for four seasons. Hmm. Right, right. And CDA, uh, if we involve government plus CDA, then they can at least take care of that sapling or plantation hmm. uh, for four seasons, hmm. which is very important. Exactly. Because plantation is uh, is a separate issue. Right. Post care uh, hmm. uh, of plantation is another issue. Well, thank you for this. Is what this is what we wanted to talk about too as well. So, you know, let, let's just move on to him where he's actually going to tell us, you know, how do we actually look after the tree or the sapling after planting it and for how long do we have to do it? Basically, the most important thing is aftercare. Right. Okay. Then we have to depend on organization like CDA, like LDA, we have to depend on them. But we can't depend all the way on, on them okay. at the second end. If we talk about Friends of Kachnar Park, they have took the initiative in Pakistan that they bought a chingchi only for watering the plants, to okay. take care of plants. Mm. They put, uh, we put uh, our water tank on this and we fill on with water on daily basis and water all these plants we have planted. Okay. We, uh, we watering these plants 
we make carries on daily basis. Hope you don't turn Kachnar Park into a forest too as well. Let, let there be a little space for people to walk, right? Because okay. I see a lot of people walking around. We are the park. not yeah. making forest to Kachnar <laughs> Park. We, we have planted with proper plan. Okay. Okay. Make make distance. We have make distance for tractor to move on to cut the grass. We have. Wow. Make uh, proper gap, 15 feet gap we yes, have created. Can I cut him just yes, for please. a while? Yeah, sure. uh, uh, you were asking uh, Mr. Tabish that why you need a, a sampling of uh, uh, three, three, four, to, four three to four feet. feet. Yes. That is the reason that um, when the grass grows, hmm. it uh, the tractors of CDA cannot detect that is whether there, whether a there's a oh, sampling right, right. Uh, hidden inside the grass. So that's why um, the size should be uh, of three to four feet mm -hmm. so that the tractor pe personnel can see that sapling is there so they ca must not uh, yeah. you know, and, get a, and his concern was wild animals that you know you know they can be animals which actually are going to gaze upon the tree too as well so moving yes. on you were so, saying something yeah yeah we, I was talking about Ching Chi and that uh, tractor too as well yeah yes so that's how we take care of these plants and we, uh, we make carries on daily basis after every rain and after every storm uh, we go to, uh, to plants and we have planted and, and we take care of and again stand them give them support and we are taking care of our plants. We have planted like uh, we have planted like around four thousand plants yeah. in different areas of Islamabad. So it was three thousand by the start of the show, but uh, mm. there are thousand more yeah. in one hour. <laughs> yeah. like the no, yeah. no, yeah. he is working separately. It's he perfectly all right. I'm yes. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. But I just want to move on to Shahzeb very quickly before we come back to Maria, and we, she's going to actually let us know about the September second drive as well, and how we can we can be a part of that, or probably Mr. Bean can. But Shazam, now you've got a minute and you have to motivate people with your words that we need actually need to go out and uh, we need, you know, proper figures or probably if not figures, we, not, we need proper definitions as into why are we supposed to plant trees, you know, we need to make, we need to tell them or probably we need to come up with some logic that, you know, this is what is happening to our environment and this is what we need to do. One, two, three, go. Uh, actually, uh, whenever you plant a tree, it uh, gives you oxygen. And the second thing, it gives you food. And uh, th uh, third thing, which uh, I want to say that it gives shelter to uh, uh, different animals. Uh, and it is the house of different birds, different species, which are going to be extinct. So uh, you have to plant trees for them to live on to the next generations, so that the next generations can see them. And also, uh, when you are planting trees, uh, the area where there are plants, the rate of property, that is high. And uh, uh, also there are economic factors uh, other than that, that uh, you can uh, also, uh, when you t take care of a plant, it grows and uh, it, gives you, uh, it, it give, gives you oxygen and uh, food in return and also fruits in return. And uh, uh, it also gives you sh shadow. And uh, at m while uh, talking about it, atmosphere and facts and figures, uh, a good tree can give you about, uh, uh, can be equivalent to 10 ACs. 10 is air conditioners uh, which uh, which uh, are working for 20 hours, 20 hours a day so uh, it uh, it will be great uh, to uh, have plants in your house and uh, in your surroundings so yeah, having plants in your house is a great idea, but at times there's too many bugs on them, you know, you, you're like, That's okay, true. I should, I should keep it out. Well. But there are different ways to do it, ladies and gentlemen, there are different plants or uh, things to actually be uh, placed within your own house too as well. So please make sure that you look after them. But very quickly, let's talk about the September 2nd drive. How can people be a part of it and what do we have to do in order to be a part of that entire team? Achha, prior to that, I just want to add Very quickly, one. because we've only got 30 seconds. Achha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, indoor plantation is very important important okay. as well we can individually plant uh, trees at home kitchen also. gardening and you know all of this yes. we, have, we, have, we have done shows Not on that only kitchen gardening yeah. aloe vera and money plant and snake plants okay. clear your at home environment and mostly we are suffering from diseases mm. which are uh, arising from home okay. because we are not planting indoor. Amazing. Oh, now very quickly, okay. September 2nd. September 2nd is the plantation tree, uh, tree plantation day yes. Yes. for Pakistan. For the first time, um, PTR has announced this and um, we are, mashallah, uh, part of the uh, government. Okay. And we have uh, collab in collaboration. We are going to celebrate that day. We are 1.5 million more than more yes. than uh, plants. Country. We are going to plant on second of. And where, 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 so that uh, we can even across, be there. All across. If we Pakistan. talk about all across. If Pakistan. we talk about Islam, but yeah. specifically, we are planting 10,000 trees on parade ground. Okay. Ah, we have, you know, the place, and we are affiliated with government now, so we. Uh, 
yesterday we had meeting with Malik I mean the advisor of climate yeah. change and we have talked about them give our ideas and we have specified the trees we have to plant mm -hmm. and we have amazing <laughs> that is thank you very much for being with us it was lovely to be in conversation with people who are making Pakistan greener day by day thank you very can, much can once I again very short of time yes. very short um, of time uh, there is a very um, uh, uh, effective um, yeah. uh, initiative uh, mm. taken by friends of Krishnar Park yeah. that uh, he has recycled the um, uh, water from moss the wazoo wazoo ka pani jo hai yeah. to, mm -hmm. the, he has recycled it for the uh, uh, watering the plant and i think that's a great idea too as well ladies and gentlemen we can even reuse the same water which we use in our uh, washrooms too as well i don't mm -hmm. think that it's going to have an impact quite a lot too as well but we really need to do our research on that we'll come back with that but for that what you can do is that you can actually write to us but before that let me ask Shiza if she wants to add on. Well, there's just one thing. Shazad and I are going to be there on the 2nd of September, you know, on the parade Great ground, ground, probably, or other places as well where we want to plant trees because we really do want to. I'm pretty sure, you know, all of you want to as well. So step out and do it because you're only contributing towards a better and, you know, and greener, greener Pakistan, Pakistan and to, uh, towards your environment as well. The ecosystem is going to be great, you guys. It's going to be good for your generation. Indeed, inshallah. And if there's any more information you guys require, please write to us on our Facebook fan page, which is with the name well of... Well This Morning. On Twitter. Well This Morning without a G. On Daily Motion and YouTube. Well This Morning. And the fabulous repeat is going to be at... 5 plus 11 in the night. Till the next time, ladies and gentlemen, look after yourself. One, two, three. Good, good morning. morning. And plant a tree.